Hello there lads. SNK has added a unit test field in face of laboratory mode and it has a little more usage that you think. So, probably it's time to make an actual reviews on the unit now. Our first target will be Zombie Rebel Soldier Egg. That's a pretty niche opener unit for 85 AP with mediocre HP pull. No last resort attack and medium movement speed. However, his prod ain't so bad and his special allows him to jump forward twice, blocking movement at first jump, and peers him through on second one. Allowing to deal damage to enemy backliners, even aerial ones. He gets a solid C from me. Now we have a golden Amadeus paratrooper. This one is a decent opener for 113 AP. This guy might be very useful. His bazooka deals a good amount of damage, and his parabombs are able to block projectiles, which will protect you from the opponents. Opening the sky jellyfish, just like this. But once he lands, He's just a short ranged soldier with nice damage, which will die very fast. This buddy gets his B+. Now to more interesting things, like Liberty Fear. Her main advantage is double buff for the regular army, but her combat skills isn't that good. Her HP to AP ratio is insane, and she has a stun counter with deleting projectiles, which is working, only if she's not attacking, but her damage output isn't that high so she can't be used that much outside of the early and mid game. I would rank her at A mark for mixed deck, and as must have 4 PF mains. And there is special Loretta, one of the most laziest grass skins of all times. Having her cost significantly reduced to 306 AP at plat, she pays for it with her special damage, being nerfed to ground zero. Even with the afterburn effect, it deals 130,000 damage, if all hits were landed with so long preparation time, and even damage debuff doesn't save her, because you could always choose Vicky for it who is also able to stop enemy advancing, and has much better print time. I would give a B rank to her. Sorry Loretta. Special Ami is suffering by the same issue. Her special was nerfed significantly, in having a huge dead zone, where the shock beam just goes into the air at the midway, not hitting any ground back inners at all. That might be useful against some air units or tall bosses, but they are not meter as well. All her other stats are similar to her original version, minus the ability to finish special, if her HP are reaching zero, which is bad since special Amma's range is also very poor for the current meter, making her easy target. I just don't see any usage for her at all. The rank? Outdated out of 10. Next one is our list is MS Heart. Her amber-like vehicle isn't deleting projectiles, but moves very fast, tanks a lot of hits and punches very hard, in literal sense. And all of this is only for 416 AP at plat frame. Special attack is really powerful, aside of dealing enormous amount of damage. It also gives some invulnerability, but if something went wrong, there is also a second form with piercing multi-hit cannon, which covers a lot of space and deals high enough damage to support other melee units effectively. That's her S rank, both in mixed and PF decks. Now we are going to the Golden Toshka Delano. This one acts just like his second version, but... That's a lot of damage! How about a little more? Now that's a lot of damage! Yeah, exactly. It fires a shell while spawning, and it fires two shells during the special, which are dealing enormous damage and flaming the ground. On the downside, it's pretty much fragile and it's vulnerable to stun. So if you will not be careful, it will die instantly. My rank, a lot of damage, out of 10. Immortal Alan is one of the craziest guys in MSA history so far. Screaming all his infamous battle cries, he's all around unit. First form is a second line tank, not good to push enemies back, but he makes sure that if front line dies, there will be someone to cover it up, along with backing up with piercing grenades and anti air spraying. When it dies, his jeep is doing a suicide run, and Alan switches to his second form, when he is still a second lunar, but he got much better damage and some invulnerability during the special. It's not that good, until he hits his third, 
the craziest version. He gets into a front liner, fully immune to stun, pushing like crazy, and stalling with his special, while he's standing there invincible, taking all the heat on him. And on top of that, his prod time is fast, so you could use two enemies in the same time pushing enemy lines. And aside of all of the above, he buffs both HP and damage of the rebel units, so if you're maining rebels, go get him. I'm serious, guys. He's a must have. For mixed players, he's mad since boosts don't really pay him the boss. And all that's left to review is flying shell type B. And it's such a disappointment. It's just a reskin of regular flying shells, but there's a catch. Instead of HP skills, it has damage buffs, so it's even more vulnerable to enemy attacks with solo HP pull. Plus, is there any purpose to use a weak projectile blocker when 95% of the units are using non-deletable attacks, which don't give a fuck about meteors? And not only that, those attacks could easily hit the shelter as well, killing it very fast. My rank for it is C. Maybe it will be useful for alien mains, but original shelter is much better than this mistake of game development. Thanks for watching, and see you around next time.